It's snack time! Welcome everyone, I'm Melissa from Little Kosher Lunch and Passover is fast approaching. You and your children need not suffer as much as you might have in the past because I have a whole selection, a huge spread. I've emptied my refrigerator to show you some real whole foods that are also kosher for Passover and really enticing for you and your family. This is a collab video organized by Heather at Home, Everyday Jewish Mom, Life to the Fullest. There might be some others added in there. So definitely look down in the description box of this video to jump over to their channels and see what ideas they have to share with you. If you're new to my channel and have come over from one of theirs, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope that you like these ideas. So let's get started. Um, before I begin, Passover is really approaching. I just got my PJ Library Haggadah, which I'm very excited about. Let me know if you ordered or got these in the mail. I'm super pumped that mine have arrived. And there's also that Mrs. Maisel Haggadah that just came out in case you watch Mrs. Maisel like I do. We're gonna talk about non-meat, non-dairy snacks first. So parv snacks for those of you who keep kosher. And then we're gonna move on to dairy snacks. And then we're gonna move on to meat snacks. And I have a few shortcuts for you, so stay with me. I wanted to illustrate for you on this completely vegan tray. This is a platter of things that I might serve my family for this upcoming Passover. And this is actually a tray I'm gonna feed my family today. So my family's into this. These are whole foods and healthy foods. For those of you who are used to buying pre-packaged or pre-made foods that are kosher for Passover, I will say this is maybe not that much cheaper because produce is expensive, but I think it's healthier for you. So things like a whole steamed artichoke, a cut grapefruit that you can then cut up and sort of prep for your kids to enjoy, fresh berries, I just rinsed and put them on the platter, fresh grape tomatoes, a carrot that I cut up, baby bell peppers. I have cut these in half and scooped them and these we'll discuss in a moment for what you might add to them. Halved avocados, these had some brown spots I removed but you could put a salad dressing, lemon juice, a dip of some kind or even a protein like a tuna salad into an avocado. And I also have a few little endive spears and they're a nice scooper for you to have on hand. I mentioned in my meal planning video about doing like a real ambrosia salad. It's kind of a throwback. If you like it this way, you can sprinkle or let your kids sprinkle a little bit of um, shredded coconut on the top. It's sort of snowy and festive looking. And this or a fruit salad is another vegan, parv, healthy, kosher for Passover snack that I might put in say a lunchbox. I also have other fruits that I'm just gonna be keeping on hand in the house. Any fruits that your kids enjoy are a good healthy choice and especially easy if they can just grab it and eat it themselves. Moving on to one of my favorite foods is deviled eggs. And I know that eggs are featured in a lot of people's menus and meal plans for the Passover holiday or for Easter for that matter. Chickens, they start laying more in the spring and so eggs are a sign of spring. They're also a really healthy snack and a great way to get protein into your system. I have already piped half of my deviled eggs. This is a great food for kids for several reasons. One is they're appealing looking, they're easy to eat with your hands. Secondly, just with my two-year-old daughter, she mixed up and mashed the yolks for me. And these yellow ones are just egg yolk and mayonnaise. And if you're very strict with your kosh root for Passover, you can get the kosher for Passover mayonnaise, or you can make your own with olive oil. I did another batch, and I tinted some of it with turmeric. And I'm going to pipe that in. You can spoon this in. That's no big deal either. But I'm just going to pipe in a colored egg yolk mixture. So that's a deep yellow with the turmeric. You could use curry powder. You could tint this using spinach or an herb mixture that your family likes. So this is really fun if you have older children. You can just give it to them and let them do it. This is sort of a crazy leaf tip, but... But wait, there's more. So now that we've gotten that into our our eggs and you can prep these in advance. I like to garnish them and you can let your children do this too if you think they'd enjoy it. For my traditional deviled eggs, I might put like a sliced cornichon or a little pickle on top. You can use olives. Traditionally like to put a sprinkling of paprika on my deviled eggs so they get a little dusting and they're really beautiful. 
I kind of ran with that Indian theme and I got out my mango chutney. And you can combine and do sort of like a sweet and tangy topping on these eggs. So let's go on top. That one's mine. <laughs> and this one's mine. On a whole platter of eggs, you could do all of them differently. You could do all of them the same. You do them to taste for your family. But I mean, there could be a, an entire cookbook devoted just to deviled eggs. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I have a fish platter for you over here. You could use these cute little shaped matzo crackers. And my two-year-old would just love this. She would love this. And you can do all the toppings too. So sliced onion, capers, tomatoes, do it the way you like. Tuna salad, salmon salad. This stuffs nicely into a tomato cup like I showed you in last year's lunchbox video for Passover. Stuff it into a little pepper. Stuff it into a cucumber. And here is a nice trick. I do lunch boxes with these beautiful Japanese cucumbers. A kid can do this for you. So it's a nice sort of kitchen activity to teach your child a skill and let them make something beautiful. I use a veggie peeler and I just peel it so it has stripes and then I cut my ends off. So I take the small end of my melon baller and I just scoop out a little cup to make a cucumber cup. These are really elegant for a cocktail party, honestly. Happy hour for children. This is great appetizer food, party food, buffet food, people coming over for a play date. The kids could do this, or I do this when I'm packing lunches in the morning. You could put the smoked salmon with some cream cheese if you're doing a dairy menu. And I made it easy, and I actually treated myself to tuna salad from the deli. I cut up a zucchini just to show that anything can be your holder for your tuna salad, salmon salad, lox, whatever. I wanted to talk about some dairy. This is more of like a cheese and fruit and nut platter idea. And I really am into this fig jam. There's several different ones that I like, but fig jam with goat cheese or a white soft cheese could be so delicious on crackers. Put the cheese on, put a little jam on, and do a platter already assembled if you wanted to really spoil your guests. My big girl really loves dates. So dates and other dried fruits, like the raisins that I've put out, are really healthy. They really combat that like stereotypical constipation that Jewish people eating too much matzah might experience over Passover. So consider really pushing the healthy whole foods like I'm showing you here. Ajvar, this is a vegetable dip that it would remind you of like a pimento dip, eggplant dip. I love these neutral vegan dips. This one has a lot of kick. It's very vinegary and sweet and tangy. I could just slather this all over matzah and eat it and be happy or slather it on my matzah with a fried egg in the morning. Over here, I picked up chopped liver at the deli thinly sliced red onion, chopped liver and matzah to me is a match made in Jewish heaven. So I know that you may not think of kids enjoying this, but put it out when you're entertaining or for yourself if you enjoy it and give your kids access to at least look at it. Curried chicken salad, one of my favorite things. Put it in a big tomato for lunchtime. It's gonna be a healthy way to enjoy your Passover without bread necessarily. I like to make a chicken satay. I will link below the recipe that I use for marinating my meat, but I have made this chicken satay for my kids who love eating meat on a stick. It's like kebab. It's already cut into pieces and safe for them to help themselves to. You can pair with a salad or veggies or whatever sort of starch you're eating over Passover. Consider putting a meatball made with matzo meal on a stick and grilling it meat on a stick. Now for dessert or a sweet afternoon treat, I wanted just to mention this new cake that I discovered right here. Behold. This is an almond orange cake. It can be made with cardamom that I recently recipe tested for Red Velvet NYC. Shameless plug, a very hip subscription dessert box owned by my close girlfriend. And I'm gonna link below in case you are looking for a new, healthier, more upscale kosher for Passover dessert, gluten-free, flour-free, oil-free, dairy-free. With this dessert kit, you get all of the pre-measured ingredients to make this beautiful almond meal cake made with tons of egg whites. You candy an orange, and then you can top your cake with the orange slice 
spices and the sauce. In the 12 hours since I filmed my meal planning video, we've eaten half the cake and it's just us at home right now. So this cake is absolutely delicious. Consider looking at Red Velvet. They're not kosher certified, but they are ingredient style kosher and kosher for Passover. So thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell, I'm like dripping with saliva after filming this video for you. I'm super hungry. I would love to hear from you down below what tips you have. Eight days of Passover is a long time to be feeding and entertaining your kids, especially if they're home on break. But I think that these are some healthy, good, doable options. I can't wait to eat this. So we're going to say goodbye now, but I look forward to seeing you back here on my channel again soon. Take care.